My name is Peter Bruninger and I'm Terry Orinji with AV Showrooms. And we're here for Reviewer's View Products of the Year 2019. This is our favorite video that we shoot every year. Mm -hmm. I'm excited because we highlight some of the greatest products that we've heard over the past 12 months. Correct. Terry, kick it off. Okay, let's start alphabetically with the Audio Note M10 Signature Line State, Peter. Well, the M10 went in for a, a rebuild. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a new boards put in the power supply. That's correct. And we also had, uh, there was a resistor change within the unit itself, within the control unit, and it transformed it. This was an outstanding line stage. And now it's one of the most transparent holographic line stages I've ever heard. It's truly for the discerning audiophile who can afford this product. This is one of the best line stages I, I've ever experienced in, in our systems, Peter. It's that full, it gives it that full bodied audio note yeah. sound with musical. And involving, emotionally involving, very, very good product. Congratulations, Audio Note. Yeah, it, uh, many consider this to be the finest line stage available on the marketplace today, why. and I can see why. Yeah. It is just uh, out, uh, outstanding. Uh, dynamic range is exceptional. The bass response is exceptional. Holographic imaging. You are there at a concert. Realism. Outstanding, outstanding product. Audio Note M10 Signature. Okay, let's go to the opposite in, uh, in price. Uh, we're going to throw out a $700 yeah. Bluetooth streamer Wi-Fi loudspeaker powered speaker from Triangle of France. Now, viewers, Triangle is known for its floor standers and its stand mounts. And this is a new product for them. It's a positioned uh, as an entry point to the line. And this product can be used in a LAN system if you have multiple speakers in your house and uh, this will fit right into your LAN or uh, we tested it as a Bluetooth speaker. So uh, we took it on location uh, and we had it in two rooms. We had it in uh, our lake cabin and we had it in a hotel suite and it fills the room with music. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's the amazing. layering. It's amazing. And, and, uh, it's, it's good bass. You know, I was surprised to get any bass, mm -hmm. to be honest. I always like having a Bluetooth when I'm traveling because it's, it's better than anything you're getting off your computer. That's this right. This was exceptional for what it is. It is also very beautiful to look at. I was really surprised at that retro look with the uh, cloth grill in the mm. front, how that could fit into any... We had it in a very, very modern hotel room, and then we had an Adirondack uh, sort of comfy kind of cabin those were the two places, locations that we sh we uh, listened to it, and they fit in so perfectly. It fit in the decor perfectly, and I say that because it's not just for traveling. This could be for any room in your house where, if your family members or your lifestyle doesn't allow for you to have big two-channel systems, mm -hmm. let me tell you, this is really an alternative. Yeah, because it gives you the sound filling room of a two-channel system. Of yes, course, it does. And it is a two-channel. It's two-channel. It's yes. got two uh, 25 millimeter tweeters, it's got two 10 centimeter woofers, it's got a 45 watt per channel amplifier, and uh, simple controls in the front, on, off, search for your, oh, uh, search for your land or your Bluetooth, can, and then volume up and down. And, uh, and we tried on several different kinds of music and the mid-range is just out of this <laughs> Wait till you hear the review, it's yeah, unbelievable. Well, that's be published yeah. And that's going to be weeks. coming up in a few weeks. So Terry, how about another one? Oh, how about the AudioNet Humboldt Integrated Amplifier? Oh my goodness gracious. Brilliant engineering. This is German engineering at its best. No doubt about it. Earth shattering design. Now if you're an AudioNet fan, you probably hear what we hear, which is sound that comes from around your head. That's the signature. That's the signature, which both Peter and I like very much. And obviously there are many fans out there. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't heard this line that includes the Humboldt is what we're talking about specifically. You and you like that sound, you've really, really got to treat yourself to an audition. Yeah, this is giving you ninety eight percent of the Heisenberg and Stern yes, easily, separates yeah, I mean. in a one box solution. It's a, it's a personal uh, choice, yeah, really. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you're able to afford the 
the um, the Humboldt or the Heisenberg Stern, then you're at a level where you can make a choice, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah, and I, what I like about mm -hmm. the, the integrated is it's a one box. You don't have wires all over the place. You don't have to have separate power amplifiers flanking your speakers, yeah. which it means more cabling, that you have more expense on cabling. A lot of people think that integrated are just as good sonically as separate. Well, some, that's a, some that's very a, well respected yep. engineers in the industry yes. have said to me that he likes them better, and he explained it's because it's just less. Shorter signal Shorter pass. Signal yes, no, pass. Yeah, yeah. So I understood it after he told me that. I'm yeah, that was Dan what. D'Agostino yes, who told us yes, that. And exactly. that was several years ago when he came so out with the So we took that, of course, very seriously. Yeah. And it's always on my mind when we, we listen to an integrated air. Yeah, it is for but me too. as I said, if you like that signature sound, you have to audition. If you haven't heard AudioNet, it's still a must audition because they really make some of the best solid state. Um, amplifiers in the world. Yeah, it's holodeck imaging. AudioNet holodeck imaging. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Terry, how about another integrated? Oh, yes, the Vetus Audio SIA 030. Is Th that? That's yes. correct, yes. Okay, that's. Uh, we were. <laughs> what a powerhouse. So, we had them with the Rido speakers in our lower level in, in listening room. Uh, and we, um, we put it in the middle of the system, and it, almost immediately you could he hear the layering that yeah. came from. Yeah. Say on the amplifier, it's coming like this. Yeah. That you. Yeah. It's 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 beautiful sound. Beautiful stage. layering and no depth layer. of image oh, and yes. spread out there on the sound field. Exactly. Uh, outstanding low frequency reach. It was such a pleasure to have yeah. it. Yeah. It's such an organic sound. It's if you're if you value realism and the sound and the tonality of the richness in instruments, this is for you. It's a it's a very versatile product. It, you can run it in 30 watts per channel class A or 200 watts per channel class AB. Uh, you also have the ability to have built-in phono stages and DACs inside That's the unit. There's so a lot. There's a lot to Peter this. Peter did a review that tells you a lot about it. Yeah, seek out the review. Uh, it's a, uh, and you can listen to it in the review and you can hear what we heard. Outstanding. A product of the year. Vetus Audio. SIA 030 integrated. It has everything. It has everything. <laughs> Including great sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay, okay uh, let me throw one out. I'm going to throw out the Tecton Moab loudspeaker. Oh. Now, we heard that speaker twice. Kemper has it under review. And this is a $4,500 speaker, factory direct. You can order in different finishes. There's a whole checklist when you get on the Tecton site to see what you want, what type of uh, upgrades mm. that you might want on the product. It stands 69 inches tall. Now that's tall. That's a big speaker. Lots of it's, drivers. Yeah, lots of drivers. It's got uh, two 12-inch mid uh, woofers, and it's got 15 MTM uh, in, a, in an array that you'll you know you'll see here. Okay. This is a patented array, okay. patent pending that's array. That's correct. But, yep. but let's go for the sound. Let's go for the sound. I mean, yeah. you, we played Dead Can Dance and other, but the Dead Can Dance, I forget which one we played. It. And all the, 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 the stuff going Spirit on. Spirit Chaser and Every, Song of the Stars. Everything yeah. was in the proper place. I know. Imaging all over the place. Huge sound sta stage. How much do these cost? 4,500. 4,500. Guys, this is, if it's your, you're young, it's your first audiophile venture, and you're able to find a spot for these. This is this is a speaker. This yeah. is one of the speakers, but this is for this year. Awesome. I, I think it's awesome. Earth shattering bass. Boom. Of the year. It just booms you. Qualified. And it's you know and it's got that really cool look to it. I mean it's a very, very unique speaker. Uh one of the best bang for the bucks uh, in the audio world. Yeah. Today. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, Terry, how about another one? Oh, here we go. The Ikea Sound Labs uh phono cartridge along with its the step up transformer. That's right, the nine G S S. That's correct. And it's the IT IST uh, 201. 201 step up, yeah. and we use these together. The cartridge is a relatively uh, uh, easy uh, uh, 0.3 microvolts output uh, compared to other Aikidas that are 0.18. Uh, we used it uh, without the step up for about a month and a half. And then when we put the step up in, it's a major oh difference. my goodness gracious. Because without the step up, I was not impressed, and I had no interest in buying it. To be honest with you. Wow. Finally, we put it in like dopes because we were told to bring it in, put yeah. it in immediately. It was a whole new world. Yeah, it was. A, it was and we did buy it. And we did buy it. And, and, it's and a talk game about act, if you want everything that's in your record, in your room, this is this, this is, the is it. I mean, this it can be it. it can be brutal on a bad recording, but there's nothing better 
on a really, really good yeah. recording. I've never heard anything opinion. like it. It's one of those things, once you hear it, and once you hear it on one of your, your, your recordings that you know well, there's no going back. Yeah, this uh, is for, about accuracy, and it, if that's what you were looking for, accuracy, look no further. Yeah, accuracy, what, but with musicality. So it's not one of those rip your ears off accurate cartridges. No, I understand no. that. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. But I want to make it clear that this is what how I think of this cartridge, yeah. the accuracy. And yes, it's not a rip your ears off, and it shouldn't be for the price. Yeah. It should be as good as it is. Yeah. And it is, so it's a product of the year. Yeah, right? just si simply outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let me throw another one out. I'm going to throw out the center stage footers mm -hmm. from Critical Mass Systems. Critical Mass is known for, of course, for the racks, uh, beautiful state-of-the-art racks. Top of the line. Top of the line. In the audio industry. Now these feet, as you can see here, they're relatively small. One of the claims to fame is, do you know that Solution, the new Solution amplifiers, use these feet in built-in to their to their amplifiers, yes. so that you sit. The amplifier has these feet already built in. They're custom made for the custom um, made. For, Top brands use critical mass. Use critical mass, and we had them. We have them in under the uh, integrated. We, that's yeah, under the the, the um, Ari Surat. Ari Surat Genesis integrated. That's right. Yep. And um, this is this is a uh, Joe Levernchik, uh, the proprietor of Critical Mass, explained. This is not just a footer. This is something that optimizes the sound that is created in your room. In other words, it makes your component operate optimally. Yeah, it's, it's not not putting, an additive. It's not an additive. No, it's, it's not putting its own that. signature that's, on it. That's it, the difference between this company and a lot of similar companies. Mm -hmm. There's no signature. They're not adding anything. And he explains in a couple of clips that we've done with Joe in our home mm -hmm. how it works more of uh, Technically, than I could ever say it. Mm -hmm. Bottom line is, we put they Joe and Joy put them in. We we waited a couple of days. It was supposed to have a dumbed down period, but it didn't. And it's you don't want to take them out. It made a difference. Yeah, it, it made does. a big difference. Big difference. But what it is, still gave us the sound that we love. Only better. Only better. Only better. So it's as simple as I could say. If it. you're looking for uh, an enhancement uh, to your system, right. and you're considering new shelves or stands or racks. Do audition these center stage feet. Uh, reach out to a dealer, and if there's no dealer in the area, reach out to Joe. He can steer you to one. Uh, sample these. Uh, try, you, you need four. You, have, you don't put three under a component. You have to put four in the corners of each component underneath. Uh, they transform your component to be more, how can I put it, like what it should sound like. So it's not going to give you more brightness. It's not like putting it on a Zortha Bane where it's going to like dull everything down and take some of that brightness out of your system. It's just going to make that component perform at its optimal level. Yes, that's, yeah. that's how I see it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep, okay. Well, that wraps up Products of the Year for 2019. Uh, it was a very exciting year. We look forward to here we are today in the new decade, uh, looking forward to what 2020 is going to bring us. Uh, we look forward to seeing everybody at the shows, uh, reach out to us, uh, say hello at the shows, uh, and have a very, very happy new year. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.